Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. Hey guys, I'm the wise one, and in this video we are going to take a look at the best moments of the second game between T1 and Billabilly Gaming for the round four of Swiss Stage. Let's get started. I like this. We talked about the gank setup early on. Faker has no idea. Shouldn't coming around. There's the stun. Scatter the weak. Faker tries to flash, but Yagao's got him for first blood. Counterattack from owner, but doesn't look like there's a whole lot to get here. Nah, the, the Jarvan's probably not strong enough for this. Owner loses his own flash. That was a little silly. It's his wolf camp. Bin? No. <laughs> no. Is that, this saying don't? That does oh, he have. is! Oh, it does! Oh. Zeus went back in thinking he might find an outplay, and Bin just beats him on the head with a <laughs> stick. Uh oh, no flash, Faker! Faker doesn't get hit by the scatter of the week, but it doesn't even matter. The unleashed power should be enough. Faker's just buying some time. Beautiful from BLG in game. Don't have it, and it's going to be a knock on effect. Dominoes here will start to fall. Shun picks up the dragon as well. Screen creeping ever closer to that point. Both of those ultimates incredibly effective at setting up some plays as Ben wants to go in on Zeus, who knocks him back into the cask. But the Jack's still so strong, man. Hang on. Such an iconic pick Here for Ben, and he's not afraid to use it. Zeus gets killed again. Up here in the top side, as now we are going to see a TP coming in, but it's from Yagao, who just picked up the Leandries. Owner's going to lose the opportunity for his combo, and the Dragon's going over to T1. But what about the fight? On trying to get away. Guma wants to get excited. Beautiful engage on the Yagao. T1 may lose their jungler, but they're going to get three, and a Drake back for it. It only takes a single fight. But the problem is still the top lane for them. If you're looking at what's going on up there, Bin could be a serious issue. And if you're BLG, that's something you know you can play around as the game goes forward. Oh, it's going to be caught by Shockwave. He could not live through it, and Faker's on the board. Kind of lackluster dragon. They immediately concede another pick. And you can see now that, like, they've kind of lost that control. It's not over yet. Oh, nice catch, BLG. More money on Yagao. MasterCard lane economy snapshot. Otherwise, I see a lot of pings, uh, blue pings here up towards Faker. So they're sending uh, to where they are winning, the side lanes. Bin had an advantage, and Yagao had an advantage. But their AD carry, they are they are outgunned. Well, can he oh, do enough? Does the nice. wave clear? Yeah. Um, but they're outgunned. Elk, and Elk is able to go even up the inventory, but it's at the cost in, of your tempo to uh, the tier two. Yeah. The top tower still lives as well. Gumiyushi's excited. Though you see once again Shun hovering around Bin, looking for a potential play, maybe a dive. But no, it looks like with the wave clip from Zeus Flash. Oh, owner just flashing in, looking for the damage here onto Elk. Nearly finds him, Super Mega Down the Rock, oh. gonna get it. But the flag will be planted on the corpse of the enemy AD carry. BLG trying to get away now, as they will not finish off owner. Meanwhile, to be the tower on it, at on top of it, this is this is supreme control even from game. T1. On. I mean, last time they even got his ultimate and half health him, but now he's he's behind them with a big flank. He's looking for the flank. Beautiful two-man stun. Gumiyushi gets hit by it. On's coming around from the side. Guma's got to be careful, but Shun flashes back over the wall off to the left, keeping himself alive as Elk is trapped in the Cataclysm here yet again. The feathers fly. Oh, it tries to stay alive. A dunk from the Super Mega Death Rocket. A double kill of a Gumiyushi. He's excited, and he just can't fight it. T1 are turning this game on its head and suplexing BLG right back into their base. A disconnected fight. Or they can even choose to take the fight if they feel like they're in a strong enough position. So I feel like that they actually have answers to mitigate this split push. And this is where I start to get concerned for BLG right now. Right. Have yeah. you seen the mountain goats up on those <laughs> tiny <laughs> cliffs? Like, it is crazy. Uh, right. Oh, the oh. They're trying to catch owner this time, but instead it's on. And Gumiyoshi's unstoppable. They found Yagao! Shut down for Faker! Enemy mid, dead! Enemy engaged! Zeus right for him. The two bouncers here, Karia and Zeus, gonna make sure he's oh. getting nowhere near that thing. He's not getting nope. an opportunity to even try. Oh, but they got it with the tongue lash. Oh. Elk has to flash over the wall. Elk with a potential massive outplay as Zayus goes into the stasis, but he keeps himself alive. Gumiyoshi is dominating, and Ben will not find the stun here with a counter strike. They got the Baron. They got back in the mid. Be able to stay safe. Yes, the resounding answer from all of T1 is yes. Faker with his crown shattered. 
Okay, owner with the engage, forcing the flash out of Yagao. Beautiful flag and drag right back out over the wall. Bin gonna be the target now as On looks to try to provide some disruption. Shun back over with the ball breaker, but he ain't gonna find a whole lot. Re-engage from Owner. Stop watch to stop them in their tracks. Oh my goodness, it's T1! Just absolutely rolling over him. Double kill for Guma, triple kill for Guma. Owner picks up another. Ben's the last man left alive, and he's gonna walk home with a broken leg. T1, absolutely dominant. Front line for T1. Oh, hang on, back in the action. Back in the action yet again. Shun trying to get away. Super Mega Death Rocket not gonna find the target, but Gumi Yushi finds the kill on Elk instead, and they'll happily take that. Ben trying to disengage with a leap strike back to his jungler, but now he's gonna be thrown up in the air by Owner yet again. Shut down over to Gumi Yushi. T1 may have just won the game. Another convincing fight for T1. BLG just, they, they have no options in the fight. T1 are just consistently getting the better of them. Shun is forced to retreat. The TP now coming in from both Zayus and Faker. T1 are ready to end it here. The early game was tough. The top lane was rough. And for BLG, it was not enough. T1, the greatest team ever in League of Legends, is ready to bring it back and do it again. They're on the Nexus, and they're on their way to the quarterfinals. A bit of a revenge.